Hello, this is Henry Smith here. Uh, I have a Seth Thomas mantle clock here that I want to explain a process. I often get calls from customers uh, saying that their clock keeps stopping at the same time and it's always as you see it here where one hand is right on top of or just in front of the other. Usually the cause for this is obviously the hands are touching each other. A couple of reasons. Either this our hand, the short one, this one here, is bent forward and touching the minute hand where the minute hand is bent in a little too far and touching the hour hand. Another reason is that what happens is oftentimes the hour hand needs to be moved in. It's forward too far and that's a very easy fix. You just take your two thumbnails and put them on there, put them on the hand and push in. Now you don't want to push in too far because you don't want the hand to be rubbing the dial and then it scratched the dial. Uh, if you do get it in too far then you gotta kind of do it the other way around and get your fingernails behind the dial and bring it back out a little bit. Um, If that is not the reason and the hands are bent, then you got to try to straighten the hands. Either, you know, push, bend this one in a little bit or bend this one out a little bit so that they don't touch. Now, if they're all bent up and they, you know, may need straightened, taken off and straightened uh, or replaced, then you should bring them to. Uh, a clock repair shop. Um, now, if you do this, and because of this problem of the of the clock stopping like this, uh, sometimes what will happen is you'll bring the when the clock gets to the the hour. Now, I don't have it striking, it's making noise, but it's not striking the gong. Um, obviously now you can see that it's not displaying the correct time. Um, so what you want to do is m move this hand down to 9 o'clock. Okay, and now it's displaying the correct time. Now if it is a chiming clock or a striking clock, um, a striking clock will only have these two winding arbors. A chime clock will have a third one here in the middle. So you wait and till the next uh, hour and then listen for the strike and so when it goes or, or you can move it manually like I'm going to and bring it around and let's suppose Now that clock actually struck 4 o'clock, but we're showing 10 o'clock. To fix that, you can move the hour hand. It's on a slip. It doesn't matter which direction you move it in. Just move it around to 4 o'clock. And then double check and push the hands back, the hand back in again. 
after moving it that especially that far and now the next time it uh, goes around to the next hour the time and the strike should be in sync uh, when it goes around this time it should strike five o'clock I'm not going to do that in the interest of, of time um, uh, for you you can either change the time to what it really is or just leave the clock sit and wait until it's four o'clock uh, or five o'clock or whatever your clock is displaying I hope this helps And thank you for watching.